What's up guys, back to school season was not a long time ago, so I decided to make a little video to show you guys some apps which could be useful for school or just education in general. So let's go with it. The first app we're going to start with is called My Homework. This is a free app that I basically use uh, on a daily basis as my homework diary. We have all lessons that you can enter. It takes like up to 30 minutes to set up, but after you're done, uh, it's very quick to fill in your homework and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go through the menus here on the left side. Uh, you have that button which opens them up. So here in Home, um, this is the main window, I guess. Here you have all your classes. Um, that you have. I don't find this menu particularly interesting, but here you have all your homework as well. But uh, my favorite is calendar right here because you can really see all the days here and how filled they are with homework or assignments to do. Uh, and for example, if I click on Monday here uh, or Tuesday the 29th or uh, the 30th, I have all my homework written over here. You can easily put it in right here. I think this app really replaces your usual homework diary, except you don't need to um, carry another notebook. You can just use your iPad uh, for that. And here at the bottom, you have your timetable basically with all the classes that you have. Uh, so again, it's free on the App Store. I'm actually pretty surprised that developers like this uh, release uh, those apps for free. Um, it's pretty magical if you think about it. You can still have an in-app purchase, I think, not to have the, the advertisements. There you go, up upgrade account. And you can also install this app on your iPhone and sync it after. You can just log in using your Facebook account and that's good to go. The next application I'm going to show you is called Genius Scan and this well, we all have millions of papers that we have to carry around in our backpacks when we're at school and this really gets rid of them because it takes pictures of them and it literally scans them and saves it in this application itself. You can even use already existing images uh, in order to scan in this application. What's good about it is that it automatically detects the edges of the paper that we took a picture of and it cuts it right where it needs to do that. As you can see, it gives it a look as if the paper was just scanned, except we don't need that paper anymore and we have our bag more organized. Not only you can save your papers that you just scanned, but you can also easily share them by uh, Dropbox or email, Evernote, or any other services that you can use in this application. You can even choose the format. Another great app is a pretty famous service actually. It's called Wolfram Alpha and it's $2.99 in the App Store. So basically in this application Wolfram Alpha you can search for any kind of information you want. Even statistics for example of unemployment rates uh, and more. They have all the categories you want here. You can even search for I don't know, the frequency of people being born named Andre or something. When you want to enter text, you have that gigantic keyboard which pops up, which lets you even enter different symbols and characters. But let's just type, for example, unemployment rate in New York. Go. I actually typed unemployment wrong, but actually understood me. Um, and so there you go. This is the information that we needed. Uh, and here you have all kinds of examples of things that you can search for. It's just a very great app, but it costs $2.99, unfortunately. A similar app, but more for sciences, is MathRef Free. You have all kinds of different topics on the left side here, like uh, geometry, uh, physics, financial, and you even have tools if you tap right here. For example, a two-line solver. Uh, so you can solve those applications really easily or for example the quadratic solver which lets you you know quickly solve quadratic equations and find the discriminant for example and the last but not least we have adobe reader it's basically like a pdf reader it's very simple it just allows you to read pdf documents it's a lot better than ibooks in terms of reading pdfs because it allows you to have a lot more features like highlighting text annotating and a lot more so i think it's just a must have uh, if you have an iPad and you use it for school or even work. Adobe Reader, it's free on the App Store and uh, you can even transform images to PDF, which I think it's uh, an option that you have to subscribe for, but it is there. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. These were my top favorite apps for education for the iPad. Tell me in the comments what are your favorite and I'll see you next time. Peace.